customize your list view and service now so you can see exactly the information that matters to you most. And right now I'll show you exactly how to do so using list personalization. When we're talking about list personalization, we are talking about personalizing your list based on your own preferences. We're talking about the columns that appear in your list and the order which those columns appear. And also keep in mind that this view is customized for you only. No one else in the organization is affected by how you personalize your list. Now, to access this functionality, you go to the gear icon in the title bar of your list. And once you click that, you'll be taken over to this area here. You'll see this window and it's divided into three major parts. The first part in the red box is the slush bucket. You have two columns plus two sets of arrows. On the left side, you see the available, and on the right side, you see the selected column. So the selected lets you know these are the current columns that are in your list view. And those in the available are those column headers that are available to you. You can change those around using the up and down arrow as well as the arrow from left to right. Now the blue box. This is the all list options. Any changes you make in this area affects all of your list views. Now keep in mind, this is just for you. No one else in the organization is affected by this. And finally, in the green, bo green box, you see the reset to column defaults. Let's go over to my personal developer instance so we can play around a bit with this. So here we are in the incident list. To go to the personalized list view, we go to the title bar, we select the gear icon. We're taken to this window, and as you see, we have the available selected, the left and right arrows, as well as the up and down arrows. Let's say, for example, that updated by isn't so important to us. So to remove it, we'll select it here by clicking on it, and then we can either double click to remove it from selected to the available column, or we can select it and then click the left arrow. That will remove it from our list view. We can also change the order of the columns. So let's say, for example, that we like to have priority in the second position. Now it's always recommended to never change the very first column because that's how your list is organized. So we'll select priority. We'll then go to the up and down arrows. We'll select the up arrow, so we move it all the way up. Ah, we went up a little bit too far. We want to move it down one, so we'll go to the down arrow and place it just beneath the number. Let's select OK. This will take us back to our list view. And here we see that priority is now second, and the updated by is completely gone. Let me point this out to you as well. We go back to the gear icon. Let's zoom in quite a bit here. See this little blue dot in the gear icon? This lets us know that we've personalized our list. Let's select the gear icon again. And now we have the option to reset column defaults. Let's go ahead and select that now. And as you see, updated by has reappeared in our list view. And priority is now back in its original position. Let's play around with the all list options. So we'll select the gear icon again. And here we have a few options that we can play with. So let's deselect modern cell coloring. This will affect the priority column. You'll see what I mean. So we deselect it here and then select OK. And now see how priority is now shaded, the critical, the critical priority incidents are now shaded this kind of a bright pink color. Previously, they had a red dot. Let me show you. Go back to that gear icon. We'll now select modern cell coloring. Select OK. And now it's back to the red dot next to critical. So this is how you personalize a list. Is this a lot of fun? <laughs> Be sure to stay tuned for the next video where I show you a little bit more about navigating your list. I'll see you there. Let's go.